All right, here's a little review of Eclipse. This is running uh, Eclipse version 2.3. Um, this is also on uh, the Droid X2, running Android version 2.3.5, and we have Root. Um, so let me go through some of the stuff on here for you guys. Um, basic look here, this is how it comes. Once you flash it, it's gonna look exactly like this. Um, you got your percentage and battery up there on the top, which is nice. You got your toggles, your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, GPS, volume, brightness, all those toggles up there on top pre-installed uh, pre for you. Um, let's go to preferences here. This is the Eclipse Launcher 2. Um, you know, your wallpaper scrolling. So, back, no background, transition, sable. You know, some different settings here for your uh, home screen count, how many home screens you have. Basic settings there for your Eclipse Launcher 2, which is the launcher that's come stock on here. Um, we'll go into settings in here, and let's see what we have in here. We've got Eclipse Parts, which has um, rotary lock screen, um, lock screen music control, uh, you got terminal, Performance manager, bootstrap recovery install is built into it. Let's actually try that because that looks pretty cool. Yeah, bam, it's built into the uh, into the application. So that's pretty neat. Let's uh, let's go ahead and, and allow that. Yeah, he built it right into his his ROM. So it's now in there. I'm not going to use it right now, but that's really cool. That's a neat little thing. You got your DSP manager down here in the bottom. So those are your Eclipse parts that's built into your settings, and then you have your uh, other settings in here. Again, we are on Android 2.3.5 right there, and system version 1.3.418, and which is the official versions. It's just been tweaked by with the Eclipse settings here. So you got those things. Um, also, wanted to show you guys the uh, keyboard. Let's see here, compose a new message, which is the swipe keyboard. So it, it'll type things in like that. So whatever. Um, so also very really nice that he's built that right into there. So you don't have to install it. It's, it's already set up in there. So that's really cool. Um, app drawer, I'll show you. It's kind of got this 3D look, which is nice. These are... Whoop, Sorry guys, these are all pretty much the applications that come built into the built into the device here. Um, pretty much all the standard applications. I've added a couple like Quadrant. Uh, Quadrant actually, let's see if it's still up there. It's not now. Um, yeah, there it is. This is our our, uh, our Quadrant score. I just ran it once I installed this, and I'm getting a 2,418 is what I'm getting right now on this device. So just ran that after I installed. So that's pretty pretty decent for a gingerbread uh, ROM. So pretty much standard actually. It's about what they're getting. So those are your applications. Um, overall, I think it's nice. It's a really nice gingerbread ROM. Uh, you can obviously. I think I would change the uh, launcher myself. Go like ADW or something else. Um, that I like because you can theme it a little better and things like that. So it's kind of nice. But I do like the look. It is really cool. Um, definitely Eclipse is, is the ROM to be on if you're going to run Gingerbread on the Droid X2. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's my little review on it. Let's let's look at the phone dialer just to see. Hang on before we go. I always like to see what... Okay, there you go. Pretty much standard looking thing. Just, just maybe, yeah. Nothing too exciting. So, that's pretty much it, guys. That is Eclipse version 2.3 on Android 3.0. I'm sorry, 2.3.5 on the Droid X2. Thanks for checking it out.